Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in for another Final Cut Pro help video. In yesterday's video, we talked about using stock footage, and today I wanted to talk about duplicating projects. Now, when you're working with stock footage, or even in pretty much any project, it's very common to create different versions of the project as you're going through. You may want to try out a different style of editing, try out a few different clips, or any variation of things. In one of the projects I'm working on right now, we've been creating multiple different types of versions of the same project. Now here's how I manage it inside of Final Cut Pro 10, but this is also going to tell you how to duplicate a project, because there's a few different ways. Now the first thing is you're going to see I have this project and I just called it version 1. Before I duplicate it, I want to show you something. I have clip 1 through 5 on my timeline. And I'm going to group the last three clips, group three, four, and five. And I'm going to group them by creating a new compound clip, which I just right clicked or control click on those clips and select new compound clip. You could also use the shortcut option G. And I'm going to call this um, compound clip one. There we go. Okay, so what that does, it just kind of merged those three clips together. So I can now move this around as if it's one clip. Um, I'm not going to go too much into compound clips for this video. But that also created a clip here in the browser. So I can see here's my new compound clip. Here's the project. We have project version 1. So going back to duplicating a project, to duplicate it, I just go up to edit, and there's an option here to duplicate that project. You can also use the shortcut command D. So I'm going to duplicate it, and you'll see I have project version 1, and now I have project version 2. Uh, right now they are direct duplicates. If I open up project 1, we see it. If I open project 2, it's the exact same thing. The, uh, the view settings might be a little bit different, but they are the same projects. Um, so that's how you duplicate a project. Really, that's all there is to it. However, here's one of the things you may not know about duplicating a project. Right now, I'm in project one. You can see in the center here. And I'm going to change the order. I'm going to put clip two as the first clip. Now, that's changed project one. But if I open up project two, the order has not changed. And let me do ship Z here. And I'm going to change the size of this just so that they look the same. So. Clip 1 is clip 1, and clip 2 is the second clip. But in project 1, I can see my change. I've changed it, and they're not linked together. So duplicating a project does not link the projects together. They are separate. However, because I have a compound clip, if I open this compound clip, and I'm going to make a, a pretty drastic difference here, and I'm going to do it by just adding a solid generator so it's very clear what's happening. I'm going to put in this green shape here. We'll shrink it down a little bit just so it's in the middle. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do here. And then I'm going to go back to my projects. And you may already see here in the viewer, uh, here's project one. You can see that green square is in the middle of everything. But if I go to project two, it's also in the middle of this clip. And that's because when you duplicate a project, it is not changing the compound clips those clips remain the same. So there's only one compound clip, and when you change it in one project, it changes it in all of them. Now for me, when I'm editing my projects, I use a lot of compound clips. I also use multicam clips. And if I just duplicate the projects, anything I adjust to the newer versions affects all those older versions. And I don't usually want that. So that's where the other duplicate option comes in. In this case, I'm going to select project one. I'm going to go back in, actually, let me remove our green clip here. And in project one, uh, everything looks good, but I'm going to select it to create a new version. Only this time, I'm going to duplicate it by going to edit and choosing duplicate project as snapshot. You can also use shift command D to duplicate it as a snapshot. Now, one big difference with duplicating as a snapshot is you still have the same name, so it's still called Project 1, but it calls it Project 1 Snapshot and adds the date and time. So when you're doing that, 
uh, usually what I like to do is I'll go in and rename this. So I'm just going to call this uh, version. I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to call it version 3. That's fine. Uh, version 3. And I'm going to open up version 3. And here's version 3. It looks good. Uh, I'm going to go in and make the edit and the changes that the client wanted. We'll just say that they want this blue vivid color square on it. Obviously, probably wouldn't do this for anything, but uh, let me scale it down. Let's do that. Okay. So now you can already see here in the viewer what's happening. The change I made in project three only is affecting this compound clip. It's not affecting the compound clip in project one or project two. But if I go back into project one, I open up the compound clip. Let me switch over. We'll add the green clip again. And I'll just cover the whole thing. That's fine. Notice project one and two are both affected, but project three is not. So that's a little bit about duplicating projects. It can be kind of confusing when you have those two options. But essentially, you're going to want to go to edit and choose duplicate for a project if you want anything that's a compound clip or a multicam clip to be the same in all versions of that project. But if you don't want that, if you actually want separate versions of each project, then I recommend choosing the option Duplicate Project as Snapshot. I hope this provides a little bit of clarity in your editing, but this is a great way to save different versions of the project. I've seen some people who have asked, and, and with Final Cut Pro 10, there's not an option to go up to, say, File, Save As, and to create a separate version of a Final Cut Pro project like you could in older versions. But that's all you have to do here. Just go up to the edit menu and choose to duplicate that project as a snapshot. And you're essentially getting your version control. And that's how you can match everything up. So I hope this tip helps out. If there's something specific you're looking to learn, please don't hesitate. Reach out to me. You can find me at, at Final Cut Pro Help or leave a comment in this video. If you did like the content, uh, give me a like. Let me know. Uh, that helps me understand if you're actually enjoying this stuff, if I should create, keep creating videos like this, uh, or if it's not worth it, I'll just go and do something else. <laughs> but let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your day.